So hopefully you've guys gotten to the point where like, you know, more luxury along with touring. How do you enjoy your off time? I usually, uh, first couple days I get back, since I have a bunch of TV shows, I TiVo. That the first couple days I, uh, I come home, I don't even leave the house. I just sit on the couch, order pizza and stuff, and just watch, like, catch up on all my TV shows. And just from traveling all around and stuff, the, you know, when I get home, I just don't want to have to drive or go anywhere. So I usually just stick around, and then after, you know, after a few days, just kind of, like, decompressing. Um, you know, I'll go out. You know, visit with friends, go out, do something cool or whatever. It's just kind of like day to day. It's like you don't really have like every time you go home, you don't do like a specific thing. It's just kind of like you just have all the free time you want. So you just kind of like whatever you feel like doing that day, you just right. kind of you can do it because you don't have anything like. Uh, Finally, there's no schedule. Yeah, there's no schedule. So if you feel like you know going to play some putt putt or you know, <laughs> golf carts or something, you're like fuck it, I'm gonna go putt putt. You know, it's some. So it's uh, just whatever you feel like doing because you know you have no nothing, no obligations for to do shit. So it's just uh, whatever you, you know floats your boat. You know, fucking go do it. Who would you say um, were or are your favorite musicians? I know you mentioned Metallica inspired you greatly, but um, what about you, man? I mean, uh, I think we had a lot of not just like particular musicians, but uh, you know we all in the band share like you know we're all big fans of. Uh, Megadeth, Metallica, Maiden, um, Testament, you know, all the old school, like, metal. Right. Like the, the glory days of metal. And, uh, yeah, we all, like, you know, grew up listening to that, and that's what all kind of inspired us to, uh, what drew you all together. together. And then everyone else. That was definitely, like, the initial thing, yeah. for sure, like, when we're, like, 12 and stuff, and, you know, 90s was a little, the weak, weak. <laughs> kind of, like, the metal side of things, but, uh. Yeah, there's still some good shit keeping it real out there, like Pantera and Sepultura, Alice in Chains, right. Sepultura. But I mean, you know, the, it was those older bands like Metallica. People were still like, you know, flipping over, and obviously our generation kind of caught on to it. Right. Because Metallica was still big in the '90s, so I guess luckily, like, they kind of kept the torch going, or at least somewhat, so that bright bands, enough like, so people yeah, could yeah, see so it Yeah, so now later bands on. like, you know, we got into it when we we're like 12 and 13, and now everyone's playing solos again, and fucking guitar games with play solo you don't even have to know how to play guitar anymore and fucking jam with music <laughs> yeah our uh, our youthful growing up days um was pretty lacking in cool new bands yeah so we kind of stuck to the uh the older the older bands it wasn't that... until like i heard like kill switch and lamb of god's first like popular albums that's when i like heard new bands starting to play like cool shit again i'm like all right, there's some hope that, you know, maybe I can be in a band that people might appreciate doing this kind of stuff, and I don't have to fucking do this kind of, or, you know, never mind. But I don't have to play, like, you know, single note things and all that kind of stuff, because 90s new metal was a little iffy. Can we blow that amp up? We blew the amp up. Hell yeah. Too that's much. Not, that's not cool. Too much power in this room. That's not a good day until you bring something right. Yeah. I, think, I think we just flipped the... Thing, Flip my, the breaker. Yeah, my computer's not charged anymore unless I do my computer up too. All right, one last question for you guys. Um, what's one question during an interview you wish was asked? Which? I mean, something that you just really want to tell people, but no one's asked you yet. Uh, hmm. Kind of a weird question, but sometimes people just have it. It's like, oh man, I wish somebody would ask me this. Yeah, something. I have no idea. That's cool. That was an experiment. It went hard on. Oh, no, it's kind of hard. I'm trying to think. It's going to be something. a lot of shit, so it's hard to think of. Yeah, I'm trying to think of something outside the box. Um, I don't know. Maybe you should, like, test bands, like, because this is a college thing, right? Yeah, this is You should college. have, like, a, you know, some kind of, like, IQ test. collegiate <laughs> question for us to see, like, how smart all the bands are out here. Give them a video. Uh, <laughs> help. Yeah. Uh, what, what, little what, 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 quiz. Yeah. Just a general knowledge. Dude, I've pro probably lo like forgot half the shit I learned in school. I, you really don't need to learn half the shit they teach you. Yeah. You know? Pretty much. <laughs> High school is fucking yeah. yeah. What a joke. <laughs> you know, if you can count your money and like you know not to spend it, man, like there, that's about it. Yeah. You can survive. You can have a all your fingers and toes. You're good. To yeah, go. you, you're, you're meet a lot of stupid go. people. They should just have a fucking <laughs> class for fucking common sense. Yeah, common sense class. <laughs> All right, so that's what that's what needs to happen in the world. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
Well, uh, guys, I really appreciate your time. Yeah, uh, thank it's you. It's been great talking to you. Um, eager to watch the show tonight. I'm awesome. sure you're going to do great, it. just like you always have. Every, I've seen really you guys fun. twice before. Really? Masquerade, Atlanta, even, Georgia. You haven't even been up this way, really. I don't think we've ever played Alabama and never done Pensacola. So. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not confused by you guys not doing Alabama. totally makes sense. But, like, I've seen you guys in uh, Atlanta, Georgia at the Masquerade. Yeah. And again at the Roxy in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, so, yeah. It's my first show down here. I'm glad yeah. you guys are a part of it. Never been to Alabama. Weird. We don't book it, we just show up. So. Uh, I hear you. <laughs> Maybe next year or this year sometime. Well, uh, there you have it. Trivium, thank you for your time, guys. No problem. Peace. Stay in school. Stay in school.